you know the trend has moved from this level to this level and there was no looking back and one more uh, thing you have to notice that in this portion when this trend is accelerating on the upside you friends we all were looking at the usage of moving averages on the rsi today we will use a moving average on the rsi again and we will see how moving averages helps us to determine the trend acceleration where the trend accelerate or where the trend is ready to take off or where the stock is ready to crash now we will see the moving average in a very different way on the rsi together with it we'll see reversals how the reversals are the uh, form where they occur and what they mean if you're watching the channel and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to it do share this video with your friends on the facebook whatsapp telegram anywhere where you add it in a group it just peps up our spirits and if you like the material just hit the like button and do post your feedback in the comment box that helps us to improve every day without without any ado let's jump on to our charts and see moving average application on rsi in a very different way and see how reversals work hello all this is bharat junjun wala and today we'll look at another application of the rsi basically uh, uh, on the moving averages on rsi so we'll be using a nine period uh, moving average and now it can be a 9 sma and ema whatever you feel uh, it doesn't matter whatever i have written because it doesn't make much difference when we are using it on an indicator rather than on the price so in the last session you know i got a lots of query uh, asking whether the 9 period sma or 9 period ema but it doesn't make any difference so you can use any of them uh, on the on your charts right on the rsi whether basically it won't make much difference right so let us start with acceleration factor and what is this actually now see if i have mentioned here a 9 day sma now if you see a 9 day ema on the chart don't get confused right it is all the same it doesn't make any difference as i told you right doesn't make much difference so what is the acceleration factor basically uh, when we are looking at the sma and we, when we see that the 9 sma is on the rsi is cro crossing above the 40 levels then this will be a sign of early reversals and when the 9 sma on the rsi moves above the 50 levels and this will be an sign of a sideways to uptrend now here the real magic starts when the 9 sma on the rsi moves above the 60 levels and this is the place really you have to watch for because at this time or at this place the trend acceleration starts the trend starts to accelerate in a single direction in a very aggressive manner now see if you can see on the chart this highlighted portion is the place where the 9 sma on the 9 ema on the rsi is above the 60 levels so i have uh, undrawn the rsi i have undrawn the 45 uh, sma I only plotted is the 9 ema and you can see how well it is moving above now this is the highlighted place where it has moved above the 60 levels and you can see how well uh, you know the trend has moved from this level to this level and there was no looking back and one more uh, thing you have to notice that in this portion when this trend is accelerating on the upside you don't dare short right like it it will be just you know doing uh, committing a suicide it will be like just standing in front of a very accelerating car and it will knock you off of course so be very careful when you are uh, doing this thing right do not go short anybody tells you to go short here do not go short do not listen to him because it will be a type of suicidal attempt and again when the rsi ema crosses the 50 levels we may assume that the trend may go sideways and when it moves beyond the 40 levels the trend accelerates on the downside so it's quite a good acceleration you see again at this point you will see that the trend that the ema 9 has moved above the 60 levels and the trend is accelerating on the upside again so it's quite a very good indicator and indication that uh, you know trend will be taking us the trend will be speeding up above these levels so keep this in mind and always you know do track this type of thing and again uh, if you are uh, when 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 we talking about uh, uh, dx uh, acceleration on the downside so when we see that the 9 ema ha has crossed the 60 levels on the downside it will be an indication of early trend reversal 
when it crosses down the 50 levels it will be an indication of sideways to down and when it moves beyond the 40 levels it is a full proof sign that the trend is accelerating very speed in a very speeding manner on the downside so you have to keep in mind this type of settings when you get it so the trend will be de deacceler uh, de the trend will be accelerating on the downside so let us look on the chart and see as yeah, you can see the levels where i have uh, highlighted you know the trend where it the, where the rsi ma has uh, moved below the 40 levels now these are the place where the rsi ma you know took a hit and moved moved below the 40 levels now these are and you can see the corresponding prices where it uh, you know uh, the levels where it aggressively went down and there was no looking back in the price and you can very well make out the strength of the trend that has and you can see how they have failed failed to move above the 50 levels every time they have tried so uh, you have to be very careful when you are you know trying to uh, go long in these types of situations where the move is accelerating on the downside so it won't be very much fruitful for you to go and trade long especially here right so you should not dare to really go long especially at in these conditions even because you will see if the trend is not even pulling back right so this gives you a condition where the trend is you know very much aggressively trading in a single direction so basically uh, these are the main applications where we use moving averages on the rsi and they are often ignored by the uh, very famous coaches around the globe and especially in India uh, where, the, where the many expert groups are on the other side. Now in our traders classroom when we discuss you know uh, the, the trade setups in the real time market we we show how much uh, you know efficient the probability gets when we are using the moving averages with the RSI. So there are ample of examples where we discuss in the traders classroom how we can use RSI with moving averages. So let us move ahead and see. Now we'll try, let's just talk about reversal. Now reversal is the a very important feature in RSI that uh, uh, where RSI generally overperforms the price behavior, exceeds the price behavior. So when we are talking about positive reversal, basically uh, prices are making higher lows and RSI is making a lower low. And when we are talking about a negative reversal, the prices are making lower highs and RSI is making a higher high. So, but first let's talk about the price. What, what do you, you know, conclude when we say that the prices are making higher low? So, this is a price and this is a making a higher low. So, lows are high. So, it just gives us a conclusion that the price in a, is an, in an uptrend. Okay. And similarly, when the prices are making a lower high, what does it conclude? It concludes that the prices are in a downtrend. So, it gives us an evidence that the prices are in a uptrend and downtrend. Now, let us see what RSI and what, what signature of RSI will tell us that the trend is going to continue in a given direction. So, when we are talking about positive reversals, you know, the swing lows of the RSI moves to a new swing low compared to the previous swing low and the price on the second swing of the RSI will not be less than the of the previous swing and this setup is called positive reversal it is also called hidden divergence or sometimes it is also called positive reverse uh, you know uh, reverse di reverse divergence so let us see what does and how a positive reversal looks basically when the price is making a higher high the price is an uptrend and it's making a higher high and the RSI is making an higher low now lower low now this is what a positive reversals look like so the price is making an higher high and rsi makes a lower low now what the price at this low should be greater at the price at this low on the rsi so when the prices are making higher high suppose the price at this point is 98 and the price at this point is 110 all right so the price at this point on the RSI will be 110, of course, and this will be 98. So, this will be a positive reversal sign and this indicates that the trend may move up. There may be an uptrend and the trend may 
move up similarly when we are talking about uh, okay let's look as an example now on the chart you will see that here the prices are making higher highs while the rsi is making a similarly here and these are the signs of uh, positive reversals now rsi is uh, basically not moving in a linear fashion with the price so you can see the way that okay now this is the way negative reversal a positive reversal pa whenever you see a positive reversal generally we can assume that the trend may be uh, you know moving higher again and there the uptrend may be continued so basically there is one, one more myth you know uh, people just say that uh, using 2 to 5 period reversals are the only way to trade reversal or many people are, i you know I'm, i was just watching some youtube videos lately and some uh, comments on the facebook and they are they were you know putting more emphasis on using 2 to 5 period reversals and uh, you know type of they were ignoring the bigger reversals now this is a very insane thing to do right because uh, the guy who don't know himself how to use rsi is teaching rsi in the first in the first uh, place right so a very popular teacher you know uh, just telling us the 2 to 5 period now what andrew said andrew said 2 to 5 period reversals are more effective reversals he does not says that we should ignore the reversal that are beyond 2 to 5 periods because if you see on my rsi charts maximum reversal that i have selected are beyond 2 to 5 period reversals right now well 2 to 5 period reversals are more effective reversals of course but you cannot ignore this type of reversal because larger trend a bigger trend swings won't have 2 to 5 period reversals okay so just ignore uh, those type of people who are propagating rsi in a very wrong way and they don't know you know don't know the usage of rsi they just copy and paste it from somewhere else and start calling their their material and they are people who have haven't you know learned from andrew also claim that they are student of andrew card well we're um, not getting into these things now let us move ahead and see uh, you know another example of positive reversals the prices are making higher high and uh, rsi is making a lower now see this this reversal you can see how big is this reversal is now is it a 2 to 5 period reversal no it's not right so you have when you the problem is that when, when whenever i should speak i should speak with an evidence right it's not i should shoot arrows blindly in the darkness so this is what reverses look like on your chart just go and practice on your chart now when we come to the negative reversal uh, it's uh, rsi is making a new swing high now this is a correction it rsi is making a new swing high and prices is making a swing low now let us see uh, this is a negative reversal pattern when it happens and prices are probably set to melt down or move down again now what happens how this negative reversal is set up is that the prices are making lower highs that means there may be a significant downtrend whereas at the same point rsi does not make a lower high instead rsi make a higher high so when we see these conditions these are called negative reversal so what does this line means the price at the second swing of the rsi is less than that the previous swing so this is the second swing of the rsi and this is the price so let us compare the price suppose this is 110 and this is 98 so it's quite obvious that the price at the second swing of the rsi here will be 98 compared to the price at the first swing so when rsi makes a higher high the price make a higher low so this is what negative reversal is and this negative reversal means that the prices are set to the trend are uh, the trend is set to you know, expected to move down probably so let us see it on a chart now you can see there how you know you see a negative reversal here you see a negative reversal here prices are making high lows and you see a negative reversal here probably another negative reversal here another negative reversal here probably and the price is and see how the prices react to the negative reversals and it moves down similarly in this manner this fashion you will see here 
This is the latest example. You can go and watch the natural gas right now and you'll see this thing happened here. So this was the negative reversal and prices took a hit here and moved down. So this is how negative reversal behaves and what it tells. So, so if you have been waiting for a 2 to 5 period negative reversal here, you must have never traded this thing. Right? So just, uh, you know, use your mind before acting or praising anybody because we are the people who are, you know, promoting them. And this is what, you know, generally gives them more boost. So this is what uh, negative reversals look like. So go and practice it on your charts and see how it behaves and uh, I think that you will be astonished to find how negative reversals act and it can be used in any time frame right uh, it can be used from one minute chart to monthly chart it's your proficiency it depends on how proficient are you to find the find these negative reversal on those time frames and trade them okay this was it moving average is on RSI this is just an introduction what I am sharing with you. We have very in-depth applications of moving averages in the RSI. If you have really liked our video and if you have really liked our content, do take some time to share it with your friends on the WhatsApp or on the Telegram group. Do tell us your feedback in the comment box and hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed it, click the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel. Next week, I'll come up with another application of RSI and see how we can use RSI in a very effective manner and in a very different manner. Till then, keep earning and keep learning. This is Bharat Junyamala signing off. Jai Hind!